Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I typically like to do fashion DIYs. And in today's video, I am going to be making myself a birthday dress because today is my birthday and I couldn't think of anything I wanted to do more than make myself something I can't wear because it's winter and there's a lockdown so there's nowhere to go. So, fun. So this video is going to be a little bit more informal. I'm gonna do it a little bit more of a vlog style as opposed to a full on tutorial. Um, the dress that I am actually going to be making, I've actually made before. I'm remaking one of my old patterns. I will link the original video of the dress down below because I actually walk you through how I made the pattern itself in that video. So yeah, if you wanna check that out, you can. And I'm just gonna work off of the existing pattern that I made back then and hope that it fits me. But I can always make adjustments if I need to. As for the dress, I am going to be making it out of this blue satin material that I picked up from Fabricland. Um, a, few, a few weeks ago now. I don't typically buy fabric new. That's not usually something I like to do. I like to use recycled fabric, but they were having a sale and it was so cheap. I really couldn't pass it up and it just seemed like it could be fun to try to make some stuff out of it. I'm keeping it very real in this video in the sense of usually when I set up to film, I have like my filming studio is all immaculate and clean and my lighting set up, but it's a mess. I was actually working on this shacket, this long shacket that I'm trying to make and I told myself I would do it in one day and I definitely did not get as far as I expected. And then I went to bed and left the mess. Um, I left the mess for myself today. So yeah, before I can start this project, I have to clean up that project, so. Here's a time lapse of me doing that. Run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. I've been enough of petty dudes. I've been enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was 10. Love dirty men alike. So now that my space is cleaner, I am ready to start. So now I just need to find my pattern and I keep my patterns in here. This is just one of those like, you know, these things. And I have very little organization skills. I don't really label things. I just kind of shove things in here and this is when it comes back to bite me. Anyways, I've sifted through and I really don't think I have that pattern, not the full pattern, I have the bodice, just not the skirt, but I have another dress that I've made and I have a skirt pattern made from that. So I'm going to be using that, but um, my cat kind of got to it at one point and this is currently what the front of the skirt looks like. So it's probably easier if I just remake this piece. The back of the skirt, is only missing this chunk here, so that's okay. I can make do with this. And I also thought that with the skirt, maybe it will be better if I line it. That way the zipper is completely hidden and you're not gonna see any type of seam at the back, which I kind of, I don't wanna see any type of like waist situation. I have all these ideas and then it's like construction wise, I'm like, how does that actually work? And I spend like hours trying to figure it out. And that's pretty much the stuff I edit out, which I'm not editing out this time. So I'm sorry. So I know I said that I was going to be redrawing the skirt pattern, but when there is a will, there is a way. And I have decided to just tape this back together enough that it's usable, not perfect. But now that my pattern is all taped and ready to go, I need to iron my lining fabric. I also made sure to adjust the temperature on my iron so I wouldn't damage the fabric. Then I laid out my lining and skirt pattern. I'm only lining the skirt part of my dress. I cut the skirt front on the fold and cut two of the skirt backs. Once I cut out my lining, I moved on to my blue satin fabric. Okay, so now I am about to cut out my 
satin fabric and I am kind of thinking about the length and what length do I want this dress to be. I am now 29 years old so I have to be conscious of the length of things, you know, I just want to be slightly modest. So um, I followed the pattern for the lining, which the lining should always be a couple inches shorter than the self fabric. So I am actually going to just manually add about two inches to the bottom of this just to give it a little bit more length. And I can always make it shorter later on if I find it's too long or it's an awkward length, but having a little bit of wiggle room sets my mind at ease. So I'm going to pin this and cut it out. I would send love to the men alike. Better day than cash today. Okay, so my pieces are cut out. I have a bodice front, skirt front, and two skirt back pieces. It is a backless dress, so there is no bodice for the back. Before I take my pattern pieces off, I am going to make the clippings where my darts should be. I'm just going to use my scissors to go through and clip the fabric. Okay, to transfer my dart, um, I don't really know. There's so many different ways you can do this, but the way I am going to do it is by taking a hand needle. I'm gonna take some white thread and thread my needle. I'm going to take the point of my dart here and just thread this through. And obviously you wanna make sure there's a tail sticking out. And I'm just going to clip it on this side and now I'm gonna take my pattern piece off. So now it's on both sides and I'll just open it up and give that a little trim on the inside to cut it and separate it. So now it's two separate things. And I'm gonna repeat that for all the other pieces. Also today's choice of TV is Family Guy. So next step is going to be to serge all of the raw edges. This isn't necessarily something you have to do, especially if you're lining it since you won't have any exposed edges, especially with the skirt, but it's my special birthday dress and I'm going to serge every piece of it. Okay, I am quickly losing steam on this project for today and the time is creeping. It is now 8.30 and I'm honestly ready for a nap, but I am determined to keep going because my least favorite part is next, which is the zipper. I am going to install an invisible zipper into the skirt and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, so I have made all my darts, ironed everything, and attached my two side skirts to the front skirt. So the next step is going to be the zipper. I'm gonna start with sewing the back and I'm going to sew the part that the zipper is not going to be in. Wow, you can tell I'm getting tired, eh? Oh, okay, wish me luck. Okay, so don't mind my ground setup here, but I am just now pressing open my seams that I had just sewn and press the part that I didn't sew, the same seam allowance, so I could use this as a guide when sewing my zipper. My zipper is about nine inches in length and I pinned it right sides together on the seam allowance that I had pressed and then sewed as close to the zipper teeth that I possibly could. Okay, this is what the skirt looks like so far. Um, I do have to finish the zipper in the back. It's not like flush and perfect, but we'll get there. Um, but yeah, this is what the skirt looks like so far. I still have to do the lining. This is without the lining. I have to sew the lining in. I have my lining almost fully sewn. I haven't attached it, but all the darts are sewn and all the seams are pressed open and the side seams are attached. So... I think I'm going to put this aside for now and I'm going to finish the bodice and to work on the bodice I'm going to need to create the straps so I should do that now. 
To make my straps, I am cutting two one inch strips that are about 50 inches long, as well as a smaller strip that I will be using for my loops. Then I folded them right sides together, added a few pins to keep them from sliding on me, and used a bobby pin to turn them right side out. Okay, so it is officially Thursday. I started this project on Monday, which was my birthday, and here I am, not done. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I always am really bad at time management and I think it's always going to take me less time than it actually does. So hopefully today I can finish it. I'm trying to remember where I left off. So I have to attach the lining in the skirt and do the straps and then attach the bodice to the lining, which is all the same at time. Okay. So not that much work. So my original idea for the bodice was to use a binding to finish up the edges and as you can see here it looks like crap. This fabric was just really difficult to work with when it came to using a binding. It slid around a lot and it didn't lay flat so my solution was just to remove it and add a hem. Okay so this is what it looks like and then I just did a single folded hem because the inside is surged. This looks so much cleaner than what I had before, so I can now move on to attaching my loops to, to either side here. Also, my TV show of choice today is The Bachelor. I'm catching up because I missed the episode that aired on Monday. But I'm curious if people out there are watching this season, if they're Bachelor fans, are you guys into Clayton? How do we feel about him? I did feel like he was super boring on Michelle's season, but so far episode one, I mean, I'm not disappointed as him as a bachelor. He's very generic of what they would normally pick, but so far so good. And I'm excited to see the whole season, especially because they come to Toronto and I think that's going to be so funny. I can't wait to see what they do. Um, but yeah, back to my dress. For the loops, I cut four two inch strips that I will fold in half to be the loops for the straps. Then I pinned it to my bodice and tacked it down to all four sides. Okay, the bodice of my top of the of my dress is complete. How cute. So I still have to attach the straps, but I just think it might get in the way for the next part, which is attaching the skirt to the bodice, um, which this includes the lining. So that's going to be interesting so adding a lining is always something that is confusing to me which is why i dread it but to start the attaching process the first thing i'm going to do is find my center on all my pieces by folding them in half and adding a pin to the middle point using the center to line up everything i started with the bodice and the lining matching the wrong side of the bodice to the right side of the lining once that was pinned together i flipped it over and pinned the skirt to the bodice right sides together, matching the middle pin. Okay, excuse the fact that I'm literally in leggings and socks. I'm just, it's, I'm lazy. Anyways, this is how it's fitting so far. Um, and the back is like this. The only thing that's like, you know, I still have to fix is the lining at the top here. I haven't attached the lining to the zipper, so hopefully once I do, It'll get rid of the fact that the lining is visible and not laying flat, but everything else looks pretty good. This line here is from my leggings, but, uh, yeah, so the skirt's lined. I need to hem it and I need to hem the lining as well. So that's, that'll be the final step after fixing the zipper situation, which I hope will be easy. Anyways, super cute. Oh, what's that? Okay, there's a pucker. I will fix that. To help the lining lay flat, I added an understitch. This way the lining won't be visible in the back anymore. To attach a lining like this, so I kind of just did what worked for me, which was to hand stitch the lining to the zipper tape. I started by pinning the lining in place and it fit perfectly. And then I just grabbed my needle and thread and did a simple back stitch to secure it in place. Then I stitched up the rest of the lining center back with my machine and moved on to the final step, which was the hem. I did a double folded hem to both the lining and the skirt. Okay, excuse the horrendous lighting, but I'm done. I finished my dress. It's 
so cute. I can't wait to try it on for you guys. Um, but this is kind of how it looks, not on. Um, the back, I'm not sure how this zipper is going to sit. It's not, I did the best I could, but with a satin fabric with an invisible zipper, it's hard not to make it show. I think I did a pretty good job and the zipper to fabric color match is literally so perfect. So the inside looks pretty decent. Definitely kind of had to like fake it till I make it around the zipper with the lining, but it's fine. We did it. And here is the try on clip. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. I've been enough of petty dudes. I've been enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was 10. Love dirty men are like, ooh, better day than cash today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this less formal version of a video. Sometimes I just get really exhausted of the thought of pulling out all my lights and get everything set up. It's just, it's a lot. So being able to just film something a little bit more organically is a little bit more appealing to me um, for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something and maybe it inspired you to make something for yourself on your birthday. And if you would like to check out my socials, I will have my Instagram linked down below. And please be sure to like and subscribe if you are not already to follow my DIY journey. And I have some DIYs coming up that are not fashion related, something very out of my comfort zone. So if you are interested, please be sure to subscribe to see what's up. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Why you still talking about me like we together? I'm done for the